Hi there and welcome back to another cyber panel video tutorial. In the last video you saw how to install WordPress automatically using the cyber panel WordPress installer. So if you want to do that you can do that like we did in the last video. In this video let's see how you can install WordPress manually and we're going to see how you can mig migrate your, your website into cyber panel. So the first thing you're going to learn is you're going to see how you can move your website from Vesta. If you're using Vesta CP and you want to migrate to cyber panel, this is how you can do it if you're running a WordPress website. First of all, go into Vesta and under backups, create a backup, download the backup for your entire web, for your entire server. So if you have Vesta CP and you download it, it's going to look like this, right? What we're interested in to move our website will be under web. So under web, all the websites that you have will be in there. And for us, let's say I want to try, I want to move that domain. So just click on the domain folder. So everything I need for that website is inside here, the domain data. So I'll just close all these others. So here under domain data, you have your public HTML. This contains the files for your site. We're going to need to upload this into our server. I'm just going to upload the entire thing. This public HTML. The next thing I will need, of course, will be my database. So I closed the one with the database. And the one with the database, the one with my database is if I go back. So if I go into this, if I go into this folder, this is where the databases are. The web is where the web files are. So the files for your domain for your websites will be here. The files for the database will be here. Right? I'm going to extract this and then I'm going to zip it up and then upload it here because I want to save time in uploading. Let me just select everything. And I want to compress. So the reason I've compressed it is to reduce the upload time. So if I upload it, it's going to upload much faster right now. Let's come back into the file manager, into the right website. Make sure you're in the right website in your cyber panel. And then I'll go into public and then I will click on. Let's refresh this and I will click on upload. And I can just drag in. Where is it? I can just drag in this file, drop it there, and then I'll click on upload and just let it upload. And then now the next thing that I want to do is, of course, I will need to import WordPress, import the WordPress data. I will come here under databases and then I'll click on create database. I can just create a new database and then I'll go back into my WP config and I will change the database settings. To create a database, you have to choose for which website you're creating it. And then database name. I want this to be easy to remember. I'll call it DB1. I'll call it DB1 as well. So just note that this will be the actual name of the database and this will be the actual username. And then password, you can choose or generate a password. So I'm going to generate a password. And let me open up text editor so that I can save, I can save these details so I can remember that the password, I definitely can't remember this. So I'm going to put that in there, but let me just copy these ones as well. So that is the name it comes with, it comes with the prefix, okay? That is the, the username. So if you're installing WordPress manually, you'll need these details during the installation process, you will be asked your database credentials and you can put them in there. There we go. That is done. I will create the database. This one is also complete. I'm just going to close that. And if I reload, if I refresh, I can extract this. First of all, first off, let me delete that. And then I will extract 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 in the current directory
the WordPress files are ready. If you're installing WordPress, you just download WordPress and then you add the WordPress files in there. And then we need to connect to the database. So I'm going to come in here into WP config. I need to add these details. So I will need to add the database details right here. Database name, database user and the database password. So let's start with the password. Copy database password. Just put that in there. And then the database. This was the database user. Database user, you put that in there. And then the database name is the same as the user. And then I will save the changes. The next step is for me to import the database. So make sure you find out the name of the database and you can find that under WP config. So if I come here, so here under DB, make sure you find out the name of your database in the WP config file. You can find out the name of your database. And once you do that, just bring in that database inside here. So this is the extra, the folder I've just removed from the DB directory within my Vesta backup. So if I go inside of it, and this is a db this is a database that i need to import so i'm just going to go back into cyber panel and i can come here under database where is databases here under databases i need to go into php my admin and let me just copy the password because i'm going to need the password and the database user to log in so access now Alright, so I see auto login is supported, so I can just log in automatically. But if you're asked for the password, just remember you did save the username and that there. So this is a database. So this is a database we want to work with. And this is a database that was created for the automatic WordPress installation that we did in the last video. For now, let's just go into this database. Make sure you click on it. And then you click on import. Where is import? And then you click on import we need to import a database and let's just see if i can just drag in the file is this like windows just drag in this okay and as soon as you drag it in it's going to it's going to upload the database but i think i'm going to receive an error due to this let's see what's the size of this file uh, 1.5 MB for me you can see it uploaded successfully it uploaded successfully but for you if it doesn't you're going to need to change this and to change this you'll just come you'll just go under uh, I know that's important let me just cover that for now first let's see if it's here under PHP you can go here under PHP configs well that's still loading remove that and just click go so it's already done anyway if i come in here you're going to see our database is now populated with all our files okay so right now if i go to that website everything should be working fine everything should just be working in order so edit basic configurations so you're going to need to change something here now you can see that there are multiple versions of PHP here and sometimes you don't know which version PHP my admin is using. So just change all of them to test which one it's, it's working with. So you can change the maximum, maximum upload, max file size. You can change that to 20. And once you change it to 20, save changes everything should now be working fine so if i go to this website i should expect to only receive one error and the error will be for four error so the problem here is that let's see the certificate is all right so you can see we are having some issues here but these are issues we can fix. 
So the first thing I want to confirm is here under file manager. Let me come here under HD access, edit. I'll just remove that and I need to add So if I search for WP HD access for four, I can I can just click there on WP beginner. And if I scroll down, I want to copy this. I want to copy this. And I want to add it on the file manager. And then I will save the changes. And now if I come back here, I still need to go under websites, list websites. So if I come to manage and I go down to rewrite, rewrite rules there. So here I can just press enter and then I just press enter so that I can introduce any kind of change and then I will save rewrite rules. So if I come back here and I refresh, if this doesn't fix it, I just need to go into All right, all right, all right. So I can see where the problem is. Unfortunately, I don't remember the password for this. The problem is because of this, all right? I will copy this, copy. So all these problems that you're receiving on this is because of very, very small, is a very small thing. If I come here under options, where is options? Options in WordPress. And I need to change home this. This is all I need to change. I can't remember my login password for this website. That's why I don't want to go in there. So just paste in the new, make sure you go into your, into your copy, make sure you go into your database under options and then site URL and home URL. Change that to the current change that to the current domain that you're using, the domain that you're changing to. So for me, I'll just double click there and I will paste in the new domain. So without this is not going to work. This is the most important thing and I don't know why I forgot it, but it's just sometimes you forget things. For you, this is probably not going to be a problem because you'll just be moving from the same domain to the same domain. For me, this is a different domain from where the website was. So if I come back and I reload, everything should be fine now. And you can see everything is now fine. It was just a very simple issue that I forgot. So you can see WordPress is automatically updating everything because it's been a while since I used this sample website for anything. That's just what's happening. It's automatically updating stuff right and if you want to do away with this as well you can just come here under file manager here you will you'll definitely find something called dot maintenance there usually is a dot maintenance file yeah this one it's just created right now you can delete it and the moment you delete it you're not going to experience the dot maintenance if i reload everything is working fine that's how you can move your website into your cyber panel server. So in brief, create a database, go into the WP config file to find out the actual database that you're using, then import that database into your cyber panel, and then under database, something that you even saw I forgot, go into the options folder, the options table, and then you change the URL into what you're currently using, what you're moving to, right? So that's pretty much it for this video and that's going to end this tutorial for cyber panel. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know. And with that, I'm just going to come in here and I'm going to destroy this server because I don't need it for anything else.
So if you have any questions for this cyber panel tutorial, feel free to let me know.